one of the most common problems that we have when treating a patient of central collation is actually thoroughly deprogramming the, the patient to make sure that we get an accurate central collation uh, bite registration. In our practices, we sort of have three groups of patients. We have the ones that are very easy to manipulate. You have the ones that maybe take a few minutes with a deprogrammer, say like a Lucia jig. And then we have some who would benefit from going home with some deprogramming device. And the typical device that we would use is, is a B-splint, which is a, a retainer with a, with a stop in the middle. Um, so in this brief video, I'm just gonna give you a few ideas about how we make that B-splint. Just wanna remind you that before we do this, of course, we should make a, a good diagnosis or a differential diagnosis about what we think going on. And this B-splint is not gonna be suitable for every patient, but it's certainly gonna be helpful for those uh, with occlusal muscle problems and maybe some parafunctional issues. So first of all, we want to make sure that we have a, a nicely trimmed model, that all the bobbles are removed and that we're going to block out any excessive undercut. Once we've done that, we can take a, a 1.5 millimeter Duran um, blank and we can uh, use a thermoform such as the mini star to um, put that down to the model. Once we've got the, that down to the model, then we're going to roughen up an area where the, where the stop is going to go. Um, usually it's going to be the size of one of the centrals in the middle of one of the centrals. So we're just going to roughen up that area on the, by the central incisors, brush that down, clean off any, or blow it off, make sure there's no little bits uh, lying around. Once we've done that, then we can take some of the um, adhesive supplied by Whichever company, this is a Primo Stick from Primo Splint. There's also um, Dura Splint by Shoe, which is a very good product as well. Uh, we're going to place that onto the area, and then that needs to be light cured according to the, to the manufacturer's instructions. Once we've once we've done that, we take a piece of the light cured acrylic, which comes in these bars that you see here, shape it to the size and shape that we'd like it to be, and place it where we'd like it to go. We can uh, make sure that that's in just the right shape. Then we can place that in the light cure oven again, and we cure that again for the manufacturer's recommended time. When we've done this, then we can we can shape the block, make sure it's nice and flat, reasonably polished. And then there's actually a glaze that comes to make sure the surface is nice and smooth and shiny. Once we've done this, then we're gonna have a, a, a nice clear splint on, sitting on the model. We need to Cut that out we're going to use one of these tri cutters to cut that out uh, it can be helpful it's not being done in this case but it can be helpful to mark on the model before you start about where you'd like the uh where you'd like the splint to be cut out we use a tri cutter to cut through once we've got that all relieved all the way around you can see on the center around the central incisors we um, don't have too much of those covered we just want to we don't want to engage too too much with the central incisors and then we're gonna peel off any excess material. You can check that on the model. Uh, take that off the model and then we can take away the uh, little um, lining, which means that we get a nice fit without it being too tight. Once we've done this, then we can take our polishing mop and remove all the little, little bubbles that we get to the edge. And uh, one little advice that I give you here is to use the kit that the manufacturers recommend. Uh, we've tried all sorts of things and there's nothing more effective than their kits for doing this. So now we have the we have the B-splint, uh, so it's a re really like a little retainer with the stop sitting nicely on there. We can check it back on the model. We can make sure that it fits uh, from all angles, make sure it's going to do the job. Remember that the job of the deprogramming device is to separate the teeth. We want a little bit of clearance in excursive movements. If you want to be uh, very accurate with this then of course we can we could do this on an articulator typically we would specify um, three different types for the class one which you're seeing here class two where the stop would be a little bit more towards the pilot and then class three where maybe we'd have to stop a little bit further forward and if the technician knows which those are then we can get a pretty good um, pretty good and accurate model and splint made straight away Anyway, I hope this has been helpful. That's my email address and our seminars. If you're interested, do let us know. Thanks very much for listening.